I can't wait until the day when AMC and GameStop have the MOAS because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to owe me and a lot of other AIM, true AMC YouTubers, not clickbait AMC YouTubers, a grave apology. I, I can't tell you how many times I'm reading comments that everybody's like, the true Moaz is TBLT. Teddy Zane is the man. AMC sucks. AMC is a loser. Everyone in AMC is a loser. Well, when the day comes, <laughs> and it will come, when AMC and GameStop will have the biggest Moaz in history, I just hope that all of these people who are day trading AMC miss the Moaz. I hate to say that, and it's because I know you might think I'm mean, but it's just that, you know what? You're not loyal. You're not true blue, and you're not loyal. That's it. And you want to know why? You want to keep jumping from play to play to play to play to play. That's not, that's not loyalty. That's not loyalty. I never said, listen, and I'm going to say this to everyone. I don't mind it. I love it when everyone makes money. Like, remember, we, we talked about this. You side money to day trade. Remember, there's that guy, Zen Holder. He does that. Okay, he, he has his AMC shares parked. He has his GameStop shares parked. And then he day trades and he probably made money on TBLT too. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just at a position right now where I just don't want to do it. Okay, I would rather just keep my AMC shares. I'd rather keep my GameStop shares. I'd rather add to them. Okay, and then I would rather focus on gold and real estate. That's just, I made a decision and that's just, I'm not changing. That's it. I'll add to my AMC. I'll add to my GameStop. The rest of the money that I'm getting, I'm building up my real estate portfolio in terms of cash I'm going to use to invest in real estate. I'm waiting for the, the right entry point when the market crashes. But um, I'm just really, really getting sick and tired of all of these people who are bragging that they're selling AMC, they're jumping in TBLT, they're jumping into other plays, and the ringleaders seem to be Teddy Zane and John uh, Wick Snippin. They're the ringleaders, but specifically Teddy Zane. I can no longer support Teddy Zane. I can't because I feel like he is taking people's dreams, and this is what he's doing. He's flushing it down the sewer. He's taking everybody's dreams and flushing. Now, if Teddy maybe went about it differently, if he went about it differently, if he was like, look, you know, I'm not a financial planner, I'm not, you know, I'm just an entertainer, I don't give financial advice, keep your AMC shares parked, keep your GameStop shares parked, you side money on, on, on these other places. He's not doing that. He's not doing that. So, Teddy, unfortunately, became the enemy. He became the enemy. That's it. Because he is blatantly telling everybody to take out their, their AMC money. Sell AMC. It's a, in little to no words, that's what he's saying. And go into these other plays. And, you know, it's, what's funny is that people did do that and listen to him. They think he's the hero. And ultimately, they're driving AMC down. They're killing our chances of the Moaz when they don't realize the biggest opportunity to make money is in AMC and GameStop. But this is what's happening. It's people, you know, and it's like, because you know what it is? I've learned something in life. People would rather have $1,000 in their hands today than a million dollars in their hands in a year. This is the way our world works. You understand? And even if Teddy Zane made $100,000, it's nothing compared to what he's going to make or what we all can make on AMC. I'm telling you, it's nothing. And, and you have to also take into consideration the money Teddy lost. He didn't, you know, it, it's not like everything that guy touched is the Midas touch where he, where it's gold. He lost in crypto. He lost in Tesla. You know, there's a lot of things. So, you have to understand that. You know, you're looking at it just from one angle. You're looking at it like, oh, he had that one good day. That doesn't mean anything. You know, it's the same thing if you go to a casino. 
I've had, I had a month where I won 40 grand, but then you got to look at the end of the year, the win loss statement to see where you're truly at. And listen, only time will tell. Time is going to be what tests, what tests all of this. We'll see at the end, at the end of the rainbow. Okay. There's going to be a pot of gold. We'll see who gets it. Okay. Let Teddy keep day trading. Let him do what he's doing. Let him have a good time. Okay. I'm just going to keep increasing my AMC shares. I'm going to keep increasing my GameStop shares. Let's see who comes out ahead in the end. I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer.